Yo, in this one we're making that old school VHS night vision look dark, grainy, and dope. Let's jump right in. First, we add the motion tile effect and set the output width to 8. Then, we add Gaussian blur and set it to 5. Next, we add the black and white effect. Now, we add Triton and choose the colors we want for the look. Then, we add fast box blur and tweak the settings the way we like. We also add unsharp mask and adjust the settings to sharpen things up a bit. Next, we add add grain and set the values to get that classic noisy VHS look. Next, we add wave warp. Set the wave type to smooth noise, adjust wave height and wave width for intensity, and set direction to 90 for vertical distortion. Next, add minimax and set it to 1 for a more pixelated, retro effect. Then, add glow. Adjust the glow radius to control the spread and glow intensity to set how bright the glow should be. Next, add Venetian blinds. Adjust the blinds width and angle to create the desired strip effect. You can also tweak the transition completion to control how much of the effect is visible. Now, add the curves effect. Adjust the curve to control the brightness and contrast, fine-tuning the shadows, midtones, and highlights to get the perfect look. Next, add the hue, saturation effect. Lower the master saturation to desaturate the colors, or adjust the hues for a more specific color shift. Now, at CC vignette, set the amount to darken the edges and adjust the angle of view to control the shape of the vignette. Next, add displacement map. Choose the map layer, then adjust the horizontal and vertical displacement to distort the image based on the map. And that's it. Now you've got that classic VHS night vision effect. Play around with the settings to make it your own. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool tutorials. Catch you in the next one.